Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Um, before I start, I just want to say my thank you. So thank you, Anne, for the coffee. That's very kind. Thank you very much. Today's card is going to be using the Infinite Doodles 666 523 and I've got a matte layer. And today we are going to be making the dog at last because I made quite a hash of the one before. I think I've got a better plan. I'm going to have him sat down. So I'm, I've, I'm going to pull a few bits. I'm going to use this for his body, this for his head. I'm going to do the little legs out of that, back legs out of these, paws. I can do his collar with this one. Do his nose with this tiny one. So I've got an idea of what I want to cut, and hopefully it will turn out a bit better than the last one. So, first things first, let me get these cut. So there is all the pieces that I think I'm going to need. I'm going to start off with his body, I think. I did do another smaller one to see if I could put a ch sort of white or a lighter chest piece on him. But I don't know how that's going to look, so that might happen, it might not. So let's grab his body, his back legs, and some feet. Front legs and feet because I'm not sure about his ears and that yet, so that's where we're going to start. I want his tail, we can do, and that is face and stuff, I think. So let's just pop that back up there out of the way, okay? So I'm thinking legs. I don't want them too high. I know they're a bit curvy, but and then his back legs are gonna go on there. So all his little feet are gonna be in a line. So let me get the body coloured. Pick a lighter one out as well, just to do his chest a bit lighter rather than that extra piece. So we've got E220. So let's go with a white 10. piece of card to swatch on. So I for his body I've got primrose, praline, sand and leather. So very light sand. some more to this once I've put the legs on I think so but it's just to get some colour on it It's a bit too light for his chest. 
I don't like it anyway, so let's not do that. We'll do all of this body the same. And with this one, give them a little bit of variation on colour. Back legs. <clears throat> It'll be dark along the bottom. These little feet are going to be there. These little legs. little feet to go and stick on there somehow I don't know how long I want them so I might yeah, do them a bit higher I think just stick those on I think that's going to be easier to get them on first Dark at the bottom. <clears throat> now I'm going to blend all that in. Come 
cut the bottom off of those. These little blue legs. I think we're going to go around that way with them. So I'll do some shading at the back there once they're on. And then these little back legs. It's going to go like that, I think. Oops. <clears throat> so let me get the, the feet on these as well. the same as the other ones. So let's get those stuck on. Push those up a little bit, I think. So that the front paws are in front a little bit. Need to just cut this bit off, I think. And straighten that off a little bit. From that way, no, this way, this way. So I think that sort of looks like a dog sitting down. Normally those would be behind the body, but I don't think it would work like that. So let's just do his tail. 
I'm going to stick it on, I think, and then colour it. So. Pop that on about there, I think. Okay, so that's his body. I'll put some um, extras on that, I think, in a minute. So we've got head, possible ears. I did do a bit in case I wanted to give him some fluff. That's his muzzle. And that's his possible nose. I've got an extra one of those. I don't know why. That's what I didn't use. And that's his collar. So, this is what I'm not quite sure about. So we can have a an ear like that, or an ear like that. So, I'm going to have to have a think now. I think I'm going to go with the little one, if I don't like it. I can take it off and put the other one on. So let me get those coloured first and stuck on. So do we want this? I don't want to do wide at the bottom, so that's going to go on like that. Let me get those stuck on. bit of fluff but let's have a look no, I don't know come back to that okay so I'm gonna get his head colored I think one is lower than the other so let's just correct those a bit more there we go So let's just do him a bit of a shade there. Do a little bit of dark down there. So this was going to be his muzzle, which is going to go on there. And this was possibly going to be his nose. Oh, that looks all right, I think. So, I think 
think I might have a lighter muzzle. So let's see what it looks like. Light. Yep, I'll do a bit of dark around it, I think. So. Right, black that little nose. That's going to go right up there. A bit of a bit of a wispy bit of black there. Oops. His head is going to go on there. Oh, I think he's looking like a dog. So let's get that stuck on there and then how high do we want it? We've got to get his collar on, haven't we? Let me grab his collar. I think we'll get his collar on first and then that will determine where his head's going to go. So for the collar I've got coral red and vermilion. So that one and that one. Not much different but that's okay. So do a little bit. Let's get that on. Come on, blue. Let's get his head on. Okay, I remember what I got the yellow pen out for, which was for this little medallion. Okay. 
I need to do a bit of dark under there and there a little bit. go and we've got a bit of grass to do so let's just do that and I've got vivid green and glass green so just do the dark at the bottom and a few bits So let me get tidied up and then I can put some eyes on him. Okay, so there he is. I just need to do some bits and pieces on him. So I'm wondering whether to do brown accents. Have I got a brown fine liner? Let me try and find it. No, but the brown one seems to have disappeared. So that's a decision made for us. We're going to have to go black. So let's pull out a two. I'm just going to lean him on this. And what I'm going to do is a little smile from here and some dots on there. I'm going to do some little paws, toes, I should have said, on there. And I'll pick a bigger one and do his eyes. So I'm just thinking of black dots for the eyes. That's a bit janky. So. his little eyes. So get a white gel pen and I'm going to do a few highlights on here. So let's do some little bits on his tops of his paws and his knees there. A little bit on his nose. Eyes and his ears there. So, a dog looking dog. Let's put that on there. Let me get this grass. be on the card like that so we we'll have a black matte layer let me just cut that I think I've got one already cut make it a bit short This one down, I think. 
so I can use that layer. I thought we'd just do a happy birthday. This is the creative expressions wordy sentiments. Yeah, just like that, I think. Nice, clean and simply one. Let me get this stuck on the black one first. So there's the little dog with the infinite doodles. I think he turned out much better. <laughs> if you didn't see the first one, my first attempt, which was, uh, yeah, not good. I'll link that up here. And if you want to subscribe and haven't already, you can just click on Rabbit's little face. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.